today's lesson and activity is on the water cycle. I will have my students get into groups of about four kids to each group. I will then hand out the supplies, which is going to be a to-go container that I'm already going to supply the students, which looks like this. It's going to be black with a clear lid, which looks like this, so you can kind of see through it. And then I'm also going to have the students go out in the playground and pick out some grass which is gonna then represent the vegetation that's outside. And then I'm also gonna have them pick up a few rocks and that's gonna represent mountains, even though we don't have mountains in Florida, but. And then the other thing I'm gonna supply is some foil. So the students are gonna create their own like little mini water cycle inside this box. So as you see, there's already some grass inside there the next thing they're gonna do is place the rocks that they picked up. They could pick like one big one or a few small ones to put in the box. I have a few small ones. So we're gonna place those in there. And then the foil we're gonna like kinda make into a little pond. So we're gonna like kinda smush it in there so it could hold some water. So however you like, you could create it and mush it down. So then we're gonna add some water to that little pond. And once you add some water to the pond, we're gonna seal that up with the clear lid on top. And once you put the clear lid on top, we're gonna set that aside and let it sit in the sun for several hours. So I suggest doing this earlier in the day so you have ample sun that can hit the little water spot over them. And if it happens to be a day when it's cloudy outside, you could also resort to using like a large lamp and let it sit under the lamp for a few hours while in class. But so you could see how this turned out. I did one with a student prior to this video, which I have right over here. So the student created their little vegetation over here. They have their little pond with rocks. And this has been sitting for several hours out in the sun. So if you take a closer look at it, it's hard to see, but Right now there is no water at all in their little pond. It has evaporated, so they learned that. And then if you notice on the sides, it's really hard to see, but I'm gonna take the lid off. And once you take the lid off, you could kind of see better on the sides here of the water droplets. So the condensation that has created. And this condensation actually created little water pools kind of off onto the side. It's kind of hard to see, but if you see over there, there is some water. It has dripped down, so it kind of went through a cycle. It came up onto the side of the walls of the box and dripped down, so it's a process. So the heat has worked its magic on this. So after the students have created this and are able to see what has happened, we're going to move on and I'm going to have them do a water cycle cut and paste worksheet which looks like this so we have the four five words I should say five words down here and they're gonna cut the five words out and they're gonna place them throughout the photo which have little designated areas and they're gonna have to figure out where each of these words go and if they're correct this is actually gonna help me figure out and see if the students understand the whole water cycle process and if they don't then I'm gonna have to help them and reteach them maybe some things.